Hello and welcome back to Regiments. We are here with the third phase of Operation Firebird. In the first two, we punched through the Neustadt line very quickly. Um, took some losses, but nothing we couldn't deal with. Ended up with uh, almost 400 operational authority. So I took the opportunity to uh, upgrade Task Force Dalny, um, which upgraded us from BMP-1Ps to BMP-2s. Better gun, a little better armor on those, and that gave us access to the artillery strike, which we sorely needed last time. I also upgraded Task Force Molot, which gave us access to these BTR-70 fire supports. And with the next upgrade, we'll be able to upgrade those to T-80UDs. Um, better tank, uh, upgrade both of them to T-80UDs. When you compare those to the T-80BVs, um, really just better armor. Um, and the UDs have slightly better armor penetration on both their ATGM and their main gun. Also put some reinforcements across here. Um, didn't reinforce them all, all the way up. Just wanted to have enough that I felt comfortable with our force levels going in. And I'm going to lead with Blitz here. Uh, the reason being that we don't have an air superiority or any air um, tack aids. So I want to save that one uh, in case we're able to get one for the next phase. Okay, so this map is pretty straightforward. I have a few entrance points up here. That's not going to come into play until much later. What we have is, uh, is it six points we have to capture in the middle here all around the airfield. And we just get 15 victory points for each one we capture. And given that this operation is phase limited, the quicker we can do that, the more time we'll have to go after those objectives in the final stage. Um... Two main paths up, you can go along either side to get to Valley East or Langenstein. Um, I'm going to try to do both at the same time. More points to be had on this side, but it looks like it's also going to be stiffer resistance. So I'm going to push on both and see how things play out. Now we do have artillery smoke, uh, ballistic missile strike, and an artillery strike tactical aid to call in as needed. We also have extra deployment points this phase um, because we have the Blitz card. So we have an extra 100 deployment points and an extra 200 supply points. Supply points don't really seem to be a limiting factor in this operation so far, um, but we'll see if that changes. I've got a mortar uh, positioned behind this forest, ready to jump in if we start to face any resistance on our way to this first line of objectives. So here we go. We have um, made our first contact. So I've got our infantry dismounted. Our mortar's going to be firing in there. And let's see. Not a bad time to start with an artillery strike to counter battery them. We've got one platoon already pulling back. That's great. And then with our... Okay, so that's a Gepard there. Those can be tough. Those will give our, our infantry some challenges. Um, one thing that's tough about maps like this where you have to push on multiple fronts is you've got to pay attention to multiple fronts. Um, you can't get too focused on any one area or else you'll lose track of what's going on and uh, take some unnecessary losses, which I've definitely proven to be the case in a few past operations. So this BMP is starting to take some hits. I'll pull them back. Try to minimize my losses here. And I'll bring this T-80 unit up. Um, I imagine they'll be able to punch through pretty quickly. I'm not too concerned about them facing off against a Gepard. But this unit, um, M113s, still are holding up fairly well. They're dug in, so that's, that's what's given us the trouble. And our assault engineers are suppressed here, as are our BMP riflemen. But with the amount of fire we're bringing in, I think that should be taken care of pretty quickly. Yep. So now with our engineers versus the Gepard, yeah, they'll they'll tear that up pretty quick. 
Okay, so we've got Bravo captured. I'm going to move up my recon to try to get a sense of what's going on toward Eriksdorf. I'm going to leave these BMP riflemen in place um, for precisely that reason, because we're likely going to be seeing a counterattack pretty soon. 75 points, bring up some more riflemen to push this attack on the right. Now, I think there's some opportunity on, or on the left, sorry. I think there's some opportunity on the right, um, simply because that's a 100-point um, victory point position, and I'd, I'd love to capture that if I can. I'm going to let these guys get dug in. Um, try to get a better spot here for my assault engineers. I want them to be able to see what's coming in. All right. Great time for some artillery. And let's get our T-80s over there. These are T-80 UDs. They're the toughest tanks we have. So hopefully they can um, put some fire on these guys real quick. And I'm pulling these tanks back. I'm not pulling them out of the fight. But I am dropping them back. I don't think this is the counterattack yet. And our BRM-1K is actually holding its own against this Leopard 1. We're taking fire from over here as well. Um, I'm going to push these assault engineers forward a little bit and see what we find. Let's get these BMPs unloaded in Valley East. Capture that one. Not sure why our units are panicking over here. I guess it is the artillery strikes. They are getting hit quite hard with that. But we just need them to hold out. And our own artillery is going to take on these uh, Lukes and infantry and hopefully push them back. They should be extremely suppressed and worn down by our own artillery. Hopefully, but with them as dug in as they are, it might not have the effect I want. So Valley East is ours. Let's get this T-64 unit facing in, see what they can find. Um, these BMPs down to 48% durability. I don't know if I want to risk that. I think these T-64s will be just fine. And trying to see where I can move next. Because I am having to make some decisions here. Okay, they smoked off Bravo. That tells me that they're going to be attacking there soon. Let's get this BMP moving. And these are Leopard 1s versus T-64 BVs. We're in forest. And even though they outnumber us, I think we'll be okay. I'm going to keep these T-64s moving, but hopefully still in cover. I just want them to be able to see. And these Leopard 1s are, are giving us a tougher fight than I'd anticipate for my T-64s. But hopefully these ATGMs coming in from the side on our BMPs can, can swing things in our favor. I'm going to pull these infantrymen out uh, since they're running low on ammo. Just more artillery coming in. I don't know how effective my tactical aids are in actually counter-battering them. That's something I'm still not sure of, but hopefully it'll make, it'll make the uh, fire go away. And once this artillery strike ticks down a little bit, I'm going to... Oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I will have to deal with the counterattack and not get to do that at all. Zone captured. I was going to say that maybe I'll use that to help take uh, Langenstein. But it looks like holding off this counterattack is going to be my main priority. 
17 seconds until I can call it in. It's going to be longer until it arrives. And I'm trying to get my own artillery in, but maybe I need... Maybe I need more infantry first. That's probably going to be a, a more urgent priority. And once these guys sit still, I'll drop some artillery on them. I'm not going to use it on an anti-air unit. These BMPs are done. Let's get my T-80s over as quick as I can. And I don't see anyone in Langenstein still. Valley East is being captured. Where is Valley East? Oh, that's what I was just watching. We're okay. I'm aware. I was worried it was more disasters I didn't know about. Now, this is getting a little tight. Um, we're down to just two BMPs. Um, just the vehicles. No infantry left. So I will pull those out. I want to bring in artillery, but I don't have the points for it right now. And with assault engineers, they should be able to take out these infantry pretty easily. But let's still hit them with artillery. No reason to grind it when we don't have to. And this BMP should be getting in range now to start firing on the M113s. M113s have light armor. Um... I'm not too worried about them. It's the infantry that's honestly more challenging to deal with than the vehicles. So that's, they won't be an issue for us. Now I have captured Langenstein, as long as nothing goes insanely wrong. Check how my units are doing here. See who can be pulled out. All right, so they have air cover. Time to bring in a Shilka. And we'll get a, a Shilka in there to hold off their air units. How have I not captured Eriksdorf yet? Do they have a unit hiding in there? Interesting. So now we can start looking at taking these... Um, some of these airfield locations. Zone captured. Gonna bring up some artillery. Always good to have that. And I'm just gonna start building some infantry forces for an assault. So we already have the first of these. Taking the gas station would be nice for the operational authority. So I think I'll send an extra infantry platoon that way. Um to try to build up for that assault. But my main assault, I think, is going to be on the warehouses next. That's urban, so it looks defensible. And I think that's where I'm going to try to at least capture that and get a foothold. I still have my tactical ballistic missile strike. So if we find a good concentration to hit, um, it's 30 seconds. But if we find a good concentration of units then we can call that in and uh, delete it from the map I don't like to lead with tanks there we go we we made some friends here let's stop our shilka before they get too close five minutes remaining all right only five minutes remaining oh I don't know. I, I want to use it. I want to use that strike. I don't want to waste it. But I also don't want to use it on something that's not worthwhile. Okay, so we held off that attack. I'm going to slide the T-64s up so they can see what's going on here. I'm going to pull 
pull the Sani back because it's running low on ammo. Um, let's get a recon unit up here. I want to be able to see. All right, they do have tanks in these trees. Here we go. This unit's out. And let's get our fire support unit up there. Pull out the T-80s. Good thing I called in artillery support because they have a lot of tanks in those trees. Can you hit this? Yes. And they have helicopters. So let's move the Shilka closer. Because we definitely need to get rid of those helicopters. What else can I send? Not much. So we're in a, a bit of a tighter spot. I'm going to pull that unit out. And it uh, looks like now we're, we're shifting over to trying to hold, hold ground. Once I run up to 125 points, I can call in my T-80s. And I should be more careful to just keep my artillery firing all the time. And let's get T-64 pulled back. I want to get it out of where that artillery is firing. So they popped smoke and ran. Which is a good call. I'm bringing in a lot of artillery on that position. And they're Leopard 2s. So they're going to be able to take a little more punishment than some of the other tanks we're dealing with. Oh man. I, I bailed on that position way too quick. So we've got to send our BMP 2s over. And hope that their missiles can take out these Leopard 2s. I don't want to leave Valley East since they might counterattack there. I could actually use more armor. I think that's something that would help me. I definitely want to hold on to Eriksdorf. Yeah, let's get... The, we can definitely clean up these Leopard 2s with some shots from the rear. Especially once we get close enough for uh, anti-tank anti anti weapons on our infantry. But we're hitting them with enough. They should be in bad shape. And I'm going to pull back the Akatsia. No need for that still to be in there. Yep, and these leopards are done. Okay, so we're looking at T-64s and smoke. They're smoking us out. I'm going to wait on calling in an artillery strike. Um, I don't think it's worth it right now. So I'm going to just save those points for next time, see when we need them. 91 points to call in. I think I'm just going to let that ride and see how things finish out. We'll have some extra points to start with next time. Only lost 19 vehicles to 43, about 2 to 1 total. And uh, yeah, it was the T-80s that really did a lot of work for us. I think our, our losses look good. I think we captured a good number of operational authority points. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, 243. Um, so going into the next phase, we'll be able to replenish most of our losses. I don't think they were too bad. Um, and maybe upgrade this one. Or let's get that uh, 
which one did I want? I think I was looking at the Napalm one, which does have an HQ unit I'm not thrilled about. Oh, I guess that one does have an ATGM on it, but it's 150 points as well. Um, so that'll use almost all of our points to get that one upgraded. We'll make that decision next time. I think we're in good shape to move on to phase five. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the game. Have a good one.